Hello again. Today we are going to find out how to open Preval Barista Express so that we could access and see what is inside this machine. There are many components. It's a bit complicated, but we'll find out what is inside this and how to open this. Now you may be having some issue with one of the component and you're worried and you don't know what to do next. Is it is it okay to open this? Uh, if, if it is under warranty, I wouldn't recommend you to open this because that can seize your warranty. But if not, if it's an older machine, then if you face any issue, I would definitely suggest open this machine and see. How easy is it to open this? I don't know. I've seen few videos. It seems to be very easy, but why don't we find out together? I'm going to open this machine right now with you guys. So let's see how complicated or how simple it is. Let's find out. To open the Braval Barista Express, uh, there are few screws that you need to open. Let us keep it aside and here under this cap there is a screw and then there is two three four five six and on the other side there is one here and one under where you keep the tamper so let's begin with this Now there's a small clip, let me show you a close-up. This is where the water tank sits, so you can use something sharp. I don't like this clip, this type of clip. Let's see if I can take it out without damaging the machine. Okay, that came out. Just a bit of damage, not bad. So let's open this. That is loose now. And let's open these ones. Okay, that's five. Now let's look at the other side. Now below here, we have to open this. Let me show you a close up. Yeah, that's where the hole is. You need to open one nut there. And this is where the timbre is. And there is one more right there. So it's somewhere right inside there. You need to open that. So obviously this won't fit in like this. So what I do is I remove the drip tray and then I should be able to access it. Okay, perfect. And the last one here. Now this should come off. That's one screw. And the other one didn't come. Okay. Let's turn around. Okay, the other screw fell down on my drip tray. So those are the two. They're all same size, so it doesn't matter. Let's try to wiggle it around. Let me remove this. Okay. So you have to be careful with this cable here. Uh, let's see. That's the only connection that is hooked on to this. So the connection is right inside there. Okay, let me take it off 
the way. Okay, so that's a little clip holding the upper cap. So all you have to do is just press it, press it and release it. So let me use both hands. It's easy to remove, so I'll engage it here so that I don't lose that. So that's a little clip. So now you could remove the upper portion completely. So once you disconnect this cable, just by pulling it, you could remove this upper portion, keep it aside, and then it should be easier to remove this. So the, there is two clips, I can see through this crevices. So you need to pull it. And the other side. Okay. Okay, now that the, the bottom, both clips are removed, you need to gently lift it a bit. Maybe the screw is holding, let me try to loosen it a bit. Let me take out the screw, I think that is holding in. So I'm going to tilt this machine. Okay, so I got that screw out and then, okay, I see what is the issue here. There's two more screws to be removed here. Now, uh, you may be wondering why there is no clip, this type of plug missing. There should be three of them for the BES 870XL but this is the first generation BES 870XL, so it doesn't have the extra two screws, which is right here. Instead, they have it at the bottom. Right there and there. So that makes sense. So let's take it out. Now that I have removed everything, okay, now it's coming out easy. So that makes sense why it was hard to remove that. Now let's have a closer look here. Okay, you have to lift it up a bit. This is what we see inside. And that's a water line that connects and that's where the water goes inside the machine. So I'm going to remove this portion and then you can see. Now to remove this back portion you need to remove those two screws right where it is holding the, the black piece. Uh, that's where the water tank plugs into and the water flows in through this pipe. So let me remove that. I hope you can see. Okay, so that almost came out. Be careful with the screws. Don't lose these. Now, now let's uh, remove this completely. Okay, this is a better view. And that's how you open a Breville Barista Express. Now you have a lot of room to work on.
on the right you see the grinder and on the left you see the boiler on the top then the pressure valve and the boiler inside and that's the solenoid okay so that's how you open your Breville Barista Express so if you like this video give a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel I would really appreciate it now on my next video I'll be showing you uh, I'll be attending this issue with the water leak which I have at the bottom of the tank so that will be my next video so stay tuned and see you soon bye for now